Hey guys, it's Miss Lily. Um, we just finished talking about parent functions and now we're going to talk about transformations. Again, I'm going over this quickly and your notes are provided. Um, just want to give you some information to help you with your project that you're getting ready to do. Okay, transformations uh, are ways to shift and change your parent functions. So this is where you start talking about a family of functions. So a family of functions are functions that's all in the same um, basic shape and have similar characteristics. And they um, are going to look like your um, parent function. So if you look at the examples given here, these um, on the left, where you're talking about transformations going up or down, those all look like U-shaped graphs, which are parabolas. So all of those are part of your quadratic um, quadratic part. All right, guys. So the translations going up and down are going to have a negative number if it's going to shift you down and it would have a positive number if it shifts you up. Okay, so the negative K shifts you down, positive K shifts you up. So that's exactly how you would expect it. Okay, the horizontal, the left and right movements are a little bit different. So when it says plus H, the plus H actually moves you to the left, which on your X axis is a negative shift, but it actually, you can see it's opposite the sign. The same thing with the right. If you go to the right, it's a positive X movement, but in here it's going to be negative. So up and down, negative moves you down, positive moves you up, left or right is opposite the sign. Okay? All right, so a reflection. This is um, the parent function would have been a square root function. And you can see that if it's negative outside of your function, in front of your function, I guess you could say, then it's going to reflect across the x-axis, okay? We see these more often um, in Math 3 than we do the reflection across the y, but you will see both. The reflection across the y-axis, okay, it reflects across the y. Then the x is negative on the inside of the parentheses. So where the negative shows up, makes a big difference. All right, dilations. Some people um, get a little bit confused with this, so kind of look at it closely, and it would be helpful if you took a parent function, maybe x squared, and then you tried some numbers in your calculator and just watched how it would graph. A great place to do that is Desmos. If you've ever used a calculator online called Desmos, you can go to desmos.com and you could type in um, y equals x squared, y equals one half x squared, one y equals two x squared would just be an example of how you could see how it was um, changing the graph. Anyways, here if you look, we're going to talk about an A, and A is just an arbitrary number. If A is in front of your f of x, okay, then, or if the number is in front of your f of x, we are going to classify that as A in this example. If A is between 0 and 1, okay, which means it's a fraction, then it is a compression, okay? And if A is out, or if A is greater than 1, then it's going to be a stretch. The function will compress or stretch vertically by a factor of a, okay? So when it's vertically, it's talking about um, the y-axis. All right, horizontally, so we're talking about the x. So b, we're using b for this variable, okay? Again, it's just a variable. It doesn't matter. When b is inside here, that means it's horizontal, and b is greater than 1, it's a compression, and when b is between 0 or 1, or when it's a fraction, again, then it's a stretch, okay? So that's a horizontal compression and stretch. And you'll see that these are kind of opposites. The vertical and the horizontal are kind of opposites. So here the horizontal, the function will compress or stretch horizontally by a factor of 1 over b, whatever that b value is. And again, I would take your calculator or take and get on Desmos 
and just take some numbers and play with those and look at what it actually does to the graph because looking at those transformations will help a lot. All right, I'm going to scroll down through here. The notes, there's lots of examples it's already filled in. Um, I know it's more helpful for me to go through these, but we're not actually going to do an assignment on this. We're going to do a project, so you're going to read about the project and have to look at how to use your parent functions to write equations of transformations. Okay, And that's one of the major standards is being able to write equations and graph those equations. So um, again, review this, look up other material if needed, and good luck.